Well, hey there, dreamers. Welcome once again. It's Clever Trev, and I'm doing a little tutorial stream on how to paint in dreams, specifically using the spray paint tool and using some tracing. And as you can see here, I painted this cat and I used this guide here, so kind of my underlying drawing, and I used this to paint that. So uh, I'm going to actually do an entirely new drawing tonight. I'm going to paint a dog instead of a cat. But before I get into starting an entirely new painting, I'll just show you really quick, um, a quick explanation of how to do this. So uh, as you can see, I've got my underlying painting, and then I use that to paint this cat. But how did I do that? Well, I'll go over it real quick, and then I'll start over from scratch. But essentially, I've got these blank canvases. And what I did is, at first I drew this using red paint, and it's kind of important to use a colored paint. It makes things easier down the road. And then once you've got kind of your outline painting, you want to have an identical square, blank square. And I used my grid snap, and I'm going to turn it all the way up to, let's say, 16. And if I just drag this right on top of my first painting, as you can see, it still shows up. So we can now paint on that blank canvas, but also be able to see the original one. And then, so I essentially I'm going to scope into the new one. And this is why I used the red color, because you actually, because it's kind of hard to scope in on the right painting, because there's two of them layered. You want to just keep scoping in until you scope into where you can't see the red anymore. It's black. It's kind of hard. To, it doesn't always work as planned. There we go. See how it's black instead of red? That essentially means that I'm painting on the the new blank canvas. So pretty much what I would do the next was be I would turn off my grid snap, I would turn on surface snap, and then I'm gonna go to tools, spray paint, and I'll pick whatever color I'm gonna do. Let's do yeah, blue for demonstration purposes. Eventually I'm gonna do black, but um, so now I've got my blue paint, and I would also probably change it to circle to give ourselves a nice circle paintbrush, but essentially I would start um, painting my cat here and uh, I'll just do this real quick for uh, explanation so you can see what's happening da -da -da. okay last eye here so I used our guy to paint on top of it so now once I go and separate these two paintings you can see I was painting that new cat using this to kind of trace. And, you know, I'm an artist, I'm, I'm a watercolor painter, and generally anytime you want to paint, first you want to draw your painting and then you paint. So this is essentially the drawing that's going to be underneath our painting. So, uh, and the final version is something like this. And here's some music I wrote as well, recorded with a friend of mine. So, uh, and the final version is so anyway what we're gonna do tonight during this stream is pretty much st uh, start an entirely new painting with blank canvases and we'll do our we'll do our initial underlying painting drawing of our dog and then I will go over it and kind of trace it and make it real nice and crisp and detailed and it'll end up looking hopefully something like this cat which I feel like turned out pretty awesome. So let's let's get started, eh? So I'm just gonna back out of there. I'm not gonna save. And if this is something that you're interested in doing, I do have uh, my blank painting service, uh, blank painting surface with tracing function. I'll make this shareable here, uh, maybe tonight once, because I just made it here. But essentially, this is made so um, I can just remix this whenever I want and just start a new painting which I should actually make sure to remix. So we're just going to remix, remix, and we can get started. So here we go. Um, what to do first? Well, first I'm gonna just going to turn off this floor because we don't need that. And I should probably drag this back. Well, let's turn on our grid for now. I like to turn it up kind of high. I'm going to drag those back a little bit just so they're out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to be painting a dog. Turn off our grid snap. 
And we'll use our this. Uh, well, let's actually paint on. Let's paint on this one over here. So first thing we're going to do is kind of just start painting the outline of the dog using red red paint, and then uh, eventually we will uh, trace it. So let's go. I'm going to scope in and go to tools. Well, actually, first let's go to guides and turn on surface snap. So when we paint, it's always going to lock onto our surface. We're going to go back to tools and spray paint. I'm going to change it from a square or from a cube to a sphere, and I'm going to go to colors. And I'm going to pick black. So now, as you see, I can paint freely, and it's nice and easy. So, where do we begin? Actually, nope, forget what I just said. We're doing red. Eventually, it'll be black. But we're doing red as for our initial outline here. And I'm going to shrink it down. We don't want it huge. And let's see. Do, do, do. So I can kind of just warm up a little bit. Eventually, uh, our dog is going to kind of be shaped like this. He'll be kind of, he'll be kind of looking over there. Do, do, do. A little tail. It'll be kind of something like that. That's obviously terrible. So, <laughs> but that's just kind of a demonstration of what we're going to get to. So next uh, big tip is how to make a nice clean circle. So in, in order to do that, because I'm going to start using some circles to lay out the upper torso, the head, and also the, I guess you'd say the hips. But we're going to start with kind of the, the, um, the shoulders. I just want to try to make sure we center things up here. Something like that. And next, I'm going to change it to white because I actually want just the outline of the circle. So I'm going to do this. There might be an easier way to do this, but I guess this is all I know how to do. So. All right, there's our first circle we're going to be starting with. I can go back to red. Uh, we'll we'll make our our head next. So it's going to be quite a bit smaller, about there, and it's going to go right about there. And same thing, we're going to switch to white. Try to get a nice, thin, clean circle outline there. And finally, we'll do that one more time for our hips. And these are going to be smaller than the, than the shoulder, but excuse me, yeah, smaller than the shoulder, but bigger than the head. So kind of something in between. Like that. And the hips will be pretty much centered. Something like that, a little tiny bit bigger. Something like this. A little bit more over here. And once again, go to the white. Shrink our circle down. Okay, good enough. I've got a picture in front of me of what I'm kind of using as my guide. All right, so next, that's pretty much it for now for circles, kind of. Well, we'll, we'll do more probably eventually, but we'll see. We'll just kind of go step by step. Now we're going to start actually using brush strokes, you could say, something like that. And so about halfway to about there. So about from here to about here. And I'm just gonna kinda we're gonna kinda make his neck now. 
And this red paint doesn't have to be too perfect because this is a, uh, just going to kind of be our outline that we're going to eventually trace. But we'll try that again. It's kind of hard because I'm using the dual shock. This would definitely be a lot easier with uh, with the uh, the move controls, which I do have, but I just haven't quite gotten myself to use them yet. I'm just waiting for VR to come out. Uh, there we go. I think that's funny. The first one I made was probably the best one. There we go. And we're going to do his neck next. So let's... That's about over... Here... About there, and it's gonna go down to about just about centered up with this left side. And same thing now, we're gonna kind of connect those with a little bit of curve. Eventually, I'll find a nice pace. JC Ostar, hey, time on the stream, how's it going? I just started 11 minutes ago, but what's up, JC Allstar? Going good. Just doing a little demonstration of how to paint in Dreams on PlayStation 4, if, if you're not familiar. Uh, I'll be painting a dog. Right now we're kind of just doing the, uh, the, the outline of it. And just kind of going step by step. So we'll pop this on. Right about there, and then this is going to connect actually over here. So now we're going. This is going to be the spine. It's basically the spine of the dog. And was that good? Nah, let's try that again. But what's up with you, JC? Are you a? Uh, do you dream? Are you a dreamer? You on the PS4? Dreaming with us? Lucky dreamers. Okay, we're gonna kind of create his belly rib cage, I guess you'd call it. And it's just about right about there. And it's gonna kind of go down. It's gonna go kind of down and up to about kind of. Let's see. Let's start this down a little bit more. About there to about. Here, and then it's going to curve up and kind of finish over here -ish. So here we go. So I'm going to kind of do like whoosh. I really do need to learn how to use the moves. It'll, now that I'm getting into painting more. That's not bad. We'll have to maybe delete that. Ah, crap. Let's not delete it, we'll just... Ah, let's delete it real quick. We can just go to white and just kind of block that up. Okay. Back to red. We're cruising. We're already on like step two out of step two out of one, two, uh, about step two out of five for the outline, and then the final step is nope. I'm using my dual shock, and I'm not painting well. Like you can tell, every any time I try to paint something, like it's pretty janky. I have to kind of keep doing it until I get like a nice crisp line. So I'm, I'm getting there. It takes a little bit of time to warm up my hands, you know, and just kind of get in the groove. So that should be my next step in Dreams is learning the move controls. All right, so here we go. Next step, we're going to... Oh, I actually have a couple more things here. So we're going to kind of start blocking in kind of his forehead and his snout. So that should go all the way to about there to 
about there. Do you got dreams there, AJC, I take it? All right. So then we're going to go from about there to about there, maybe. Yeah, that was good. It's like the first time we got one, the first try. And then we'll get. Dang it. And then we can go a little bit more like down here. I should zoom in more. All right, and then a little weird. I might be too far. Let's make this part next. And again, I know this looks stupid right now, but all we're doing is just kind of giving ourselves an outline. Eventually, uh, all this will, will, we won't be able to see, see any of it. No. There we go. Right now, I know it looks like a pig, but trust me, <laughs> it's not a pig. Okay, so we got the snout, we got the eyes. Cool, next we can add the ears. We're gonna kinda, I'm kinda marking, I'm putting dots down just to kinda give myself, myself starting points. And then I'll draw the lines right about there. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because these are all just going to be kind of starting points. And by the way, the dog I'm going to be eventually drawing, it kind of looks like a German Shepherd. That'll be kind of the final product. There we go. Let's get this one over here. And... Yeah. Is that far down enough? Oh, no. Nope. A little further down. And then these two ears are pretty similar. There we go. And who knows, this might look like crap eventually, but the the way my cat turned out, which was the first time I really did something like this, it turned out really good in my opinion. There we go. <laughs> this looks so much like a pig right now. <laughs> But whatever, it's fine. It's because, and even next when I make the snout, it'll look even more like a pig. Speaking of the snout, uh, we can do that next. Let's see, how do I want to do this part? So we're going to draw kind of... This will be like the front of his, his snout right here. His nose is gonna be like this is pretty much his nose right here that you can't you can't see it yet, but so let's kinda just give him a nice you know, do I need this part? Yeah I do, okay. So here we go, we're gonna try to draw a nice simple circle. It'll go from about there to there. So here we go. This will probably take us a few attempts. No, almost. We're getting there. How does that look? Or, yeah, we'll stick with that. It's fine. Jackal Craft. What's up, dude? Jackal Craft. I'm planning on making a game, but it's kind of difficult to learn logic. Oh, what are you trying to figure out? I can maybe help you out. Is that is that Jackal? Oh, I'm subscribed to you. Remind me who you are again there, Jackal. Um, what kind of game are you thinking of making there, JC? 
I could probably give you a little tip, tip or two. I think I made the snout too small, actually. Let me look here. This should go down. That goes there. This should be a little bit more. Oh, here we go. That's the beauty of, like, right now it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to look good. I'm just kind of giving myself a nice template to work with, and then once we trace over this, that's when we're gonna get actually really in depth. So we got the snout. We're gonna do. We're gonna start working on the shoulders and the hips. So I'm gonna kind of mark right about here, and right about there. Oh, that was almost good. Assuming you're Jackal. What's up, Turtle? Jackal. Okay, yep, that's what I thought. I mean, I figured. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Let's see. It's Saturday night. Hope you guys are having a good time. I've, you know, I just cracked a beer a little bit ago. Just kind of trying to stay sane in this whole crazy world we're living in. You know, luckily I've got a little extra toilet paper in case... Shit starts going down. <laughs> yeah, how you doing, Turtle? How you doing, Jackal? How you guys doing? You guys met each other? Not a good... Uh, you're not good? You try to make never-ending story stuff? Oh, yeah, okay. The never-ending story. Uh, but I'm more like start a product than less motivation than work on... I hear you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not a good... Blah, 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 blah. I get it. Um, well, yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I think you saw my one never-ending story creation. So is it okay if I can follow you? What's your username? Ah, oh, spiders. Here, I'll type it in, my friend. What's yours? Put yours in there. And is there anything, you, you know, I can, I can always take a break from this if you guys want me to check anything out. It's funny, Turtle. I saw... One of the collaborators on um, uh, a welcoming back, I saw somebody getting a little upset because their their creation was like rolled back and we didn't save it or something. That was funny, even though it was obviously an accident. I also thought it was funny. Another person said they got blocked by by Diamond. <laughs> got some drama going down in that. Uh, But it's good to have a little, people are getting a little passionate. You know, let's, instead of trying to do the whole damn circle, we can just kind of, God, I need to, I need to, I need to dust off my move controllers and start learning how to use them in this shit. Cause this is so unnatural for me. Here, let's put a little dot over here too, about there. Ah, we're cooking. That'll make it a lot easier. Oops. Okay, we're gonna follow this. Getting there. There we go. We're almost there. See, this is the the, the step that we're doing right now with these red outlines. This is the boring part. The fun part is when we can actually start painting the real stuff, and we're getting there. Um, Jesus, that campaign in you was, oh, thanks, buddy. That's kind of uh, how the stream started was I showed the cat painting and how I did it, and now we're doing a dog instead of a cat. But, yeah, Jackal says, doing well. I saw the dream subreddit. There was a cool tree eye thing now that I want to make a spider thing. Yeah, I saw that tree eye thing, actually. Yeah, uh, Jackal, if you haven't met Turtle before, he's the creator of Little Big Planet, a welcoming back, uh, which is an amazing Little Big Planet tribute in Dreams. It's by far the best Little Big Planet thing in Dreams. <clears throat> so definitely check that out. Uh, especially if you're a big, Little Big Planet fan, then you'll wet your pants. Which who isn't? I mean. All right, so we're gonna put a little dot here. But yeah, I've been friends with Jackal ever since. Or at least communicating with Jackal ever since, like, the creator beta, I think. It's... Um, 
and let's see you go little dot there so we're making this another another we did the two front um, these are like the shoulders what we just did and now I'm going to be working on like the hips so actually I got to start up here for this we're going to kind of start up here we go all the way down to there so let's do this By the way, uh, Turtle, did you did you get rid of that song um, that got me in a little copyright trouble? Or is it still on there? I've been afraid to stream it because I'm a little worried I'll get yelled at again by YouTube. I got never any story in my head now. <laughs> yeah, oh man. Speaking of Little Big Planet, how do you get rid of the circle stuff when adding detail to the drawing? Uh, great question. Basically, what I'll do is once I'm finished with this outline, I'm going to turn my grid back on. And I'm going to drag, see how I have some identical squares, and I have them locked on the grid. So I'll, I'll pretty much bring this over on top of it, and then I'll scope in, and then I'll be able to paint over. I can still see this outline here, as you can see, but I can paint on the new sculpture. So just an example... I gotta turn the grid off. That's what's screwing me up. I'll, I'll paint on this new sculpture. What the hell? What did I do wrong? Uh, oops. Well, let's just undo a few things. Okay, what the hell did I do there? Alright, try that again. So I'll take this grid, I'll put it on top of this grid. And then I'll scope in, let's turn the grid off. I'll scope in, and for color purposes, we'll do black. I hope this is what you're asking, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. So then when I take it off, I have, I'll be able to trace it essentially, if that makes sense. So anyway. You plan on making a crash game, but I'm trying to make his move set for him nice. Nice cat painting, by the way. Thanks. Oh, what's up, Matt? How you doing, buddy? Thanks for popping in. I'm surprised you weren't in here first. <laughs> Usually you're the first one in here. But yeah, no name MCU. That's Matt. I don't know if you've ever met Jackal, and then there's Turtle is in here too. And by the way, making a crash game, not to dog on it, but I mean, there's already been like 50,000 people in Dreams that have made Crash Bandicoot games, so... I recommend making like a Crash inspired game, you know, like a something that's like Crash Bandicoot, but something your own, you know. Cuz Crash it's already been done, you know. A uh, little dinner. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm I'm joking. Thanks for coming in though as always. So we got one more leg or one more hip to do. This will be the hardest one actually. So it goes all the way down here. Um, then it's going over kind of ends up there. So here we go. Let's do this butt first. Let's make his butt. Oh wait, we gotta go down mark down here too. This goes right around. This should be like the apex right around here. Let's see. <clears throat> oh yeah, text away, my dude. No, I'll be streaming for a little bit. I I'm only on the outline, so eventually I'll be. Eventually, this will be a lot more fun. Right now, I'm doing the boring stuff, but this is the most important part, really. Yes, I do have move controllers. I have PlayStation VR, but I and I. I tried to learn this a little bit with my moves, but I was like, eh, I'm just gonna do the Dual Shocks. But as soon as as soon as they make this game in VR, 
I'm gonna be switching over to the moves for sure. I should probably just get just get going now. Ooh, that might have been pretty decent. That might have been a good one actually. Let's, now let's try up here. Oh, I hate the controller drift in this game. It drives me nuts. And I'm sure I'm not alone. Well, it was close, but too big. You got that big of hips. Maybe this is the trick. I just gotta go real slow. There we go. So I know it still looks ridiculous, but um, trust me, this is, if you're an artist, if you're, if you are doing a painting, it always starts with something stupid like this. And eventually, um, like if, if this was a painting that I was going to be doing, this would be in really light pencil. So I would do all this in light pencil. And then once I would go over it with like a pen, I would be able to erase the stuff that isn't going to be in the actual final outline drawing. So anyway. We got, we got two more steps. I'm going to do a quick save. Uh, we'll save it as an element and we'll just call it um, dog painting. I guess. Let's do watercolor. Watercolor. What can I spell right now? Dog watercolor painting. <laughs> All right, Jackal says, I think the best drawing I've ever done in a video game was the Stormcloak banner in Ark Survival Evolved, and I've never been able to replicate it. <laughs> Bro, I promise you, you can do it in here way better. <laughs> Ark. How the hell did you draw in Ark? It's what I want to know. <laughs> By the way, I love, I played a lot of Ark. I shouldn't say I love it because that game kind of pisses me off, and they... Instead of fixing the game, they just keep adding crap to it, but whatever, what do you do? All you can do is bitch and moan. Alright, anyway, so the next step is going to be... We're going to be making the nose, the forearms, and the legs. Not the paws yet. The paws. So let's do the nose first, and I know this looks pretty jacked up here. I couldn't agree more, but... Let's try to get a nice nose for him. See, now it's looking more like a dog once I put this nose up. So his nose should kind of be... Just going to line up with that. About there. And now I'm going to actually make that a circle, so I'm going to switch to white. Zoom in here. I'm going to scale down a teeny weeny. Right about there. There we go. We got our nose outline. Yo, you can draw on banners and canvases, and holy shit, it took a lot of slow moving left. <laughs> this is a dog. I know it looks like a horse, pig, man, bear, pig. Uh, but eventually it'll look kind of like a German Shepherd, if you're familiar. Uh, let's see. So we got our. Get our nose, and this is super jacked up up here, but we'll be able to fix this. We'll smooth it out so it's not, he's got like a big fat lip right now, but it's all right. doesn't matter. It's the beauty of our process that we're going. All right, anyway, so let's do, we got his nose. Is there anything else I'm missing? I don't think so. Oh, and we're going to do the tail as well. Well, let's do his tail next. That sounds fun. So his tail is going to kind of start right about a little above mid. And it's going to go down to about here-ish, kind of. We can kind of have fun with the tail. It doesn't matter too much for now. Almost. It's a little too high. Just kind of like a 45 degree angle. 
We'll get it. What's that look? Uh, one more try. Well, I shouldn't say one more try. Just keep doing it until we get it right. You don't want to rush these kind of things. Oh, so close. All right, good enough. I think we can always go back and fix that. So Jackal asks, um, have I ever played Bloodborne or Dark Souls? Absolutely. Hell yeah, Bloodborne is amazing. It was free, actually, on PS Plus like a year ago. So yes, I played Bloodborne and I played Demon Souls. Never played Dark Souls, I don't think. I never beat Bloodborne. I got stuck on a really insane boss that I just kind of had to give up, sadly. It's kind of ashamed. Don't tell anybody. Um, let's see. So next... I wish I could use a ruler when I was spray painting. That's one thing I wish they had. Um, so next we're gonna add the two, the two, the I guess the two forearms. What do you call them? So one's gonna start right about there and almost go straight down. This might be a little trickier to get the scale right, but let's just we'll just do our best. It should be about the same scale as that. So. Just a tad in, like maybe right about there. A little further down. Let's try that. Here we go. Oops. I think that's a ticket. I just gotta go slow. Maybe I'm just going a little too fast when I draw those. Let's do that, and then we're gonna kind of mark right about here. And we'll go same thing. Oops. Let's recenter. Put down right about there. There we go. I can dig it. Um, is a Bloodborne? It's uh, obstacle one at obstacle time. Uh, I got pretty far in Bloodborne. No PS Now here. Oh, PS Now sucks. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I've never actually used it, but everything I've seen, streaming just isn't there right now. Streaming games. Especially a game like that where every micro fraction second counts. Drag this down. Oh yeah, that'll be a good one right there. And then this one is coming out over right about here. Yeah, maybe a little less. Oops. I have to recenter my stupid thing every time. Drive me crazy. Get this a little better here. All right. Yeah, you can buy it on the PS Store. Xbox Game Pass. PS Store is in dollars, and because of the quarantine, the dollar is very expensive. These are bad times for the gamers in Mexico. Really? I didn't know that. Let's see. Mexico es bueno. Me amo Trevor. Alright, so now we're going to do these paws. This might be kind of tricky too. Shoot, let's see. Well, we can line this up at least. We'll line that up with that. So his kind of his crotch is lined up with the, right about. Put a dot right there. And then a dot right about there-ish. The legs are going to be the hardest part for this thing, I can already tell you. 
I always have a hard time with feet and legs and fingers. It's, for whatever reason, I can do heads really easily, but... It's always room to improve, you know? So this is going to climb up to about... Here... And this is going to climb up right below it a little bit. These should be fairly straight lines, yeah? Yeah. Dang it. Where are you going? Right there. Do that there. Do a little curve like this. Too much curve. Bring this down. And we'll just chop this right there. How's that look? Uh, I don't love it. Let's thicken this up a little bit over here. Is it high enough? Be a little bit smoother there. There we go. Okay. The wonders of the straight line tool and mirror tool for maximum symmetry. Oh, this is, I mean, this would definitely be easier in PowerPoint. And like, personally, I have, I have, it's like a bamboo drawing tablet. It's a USB drawing tablet that I can plug into my laptop and I can draw using a smart pen. Um, but again, if I was using the move controllers, this would be a hell of a lot easier as well. And I'm kind of, you know, convincing myself more and more just to pull out those damn move controllers, pull out my ancient uh, micro USB charger and charge those crappy pieces of shit. I, I kind of have a thing against the move controllers because they're just so ancient technology. I thought the move controllers sucked when they were on PS3 and they're like, no, well, you can still use them. You're stuck with them for another, a whole another console generation. It's like, really? Nobody ever, I don't think I've ever heard a good thing said about the move controllers. And they're expensive. And apparently they're hard to find now. It's bullshit, I tell you. Almost down there. Do you guys got the move controllers? I think I've seen Turtle has them. Slow down, Trev. Just, just slow down. Little by little. I want the move controllers, but they're very expensive. Yes, they are, Matt. I can't even remember when I bought my move controllers, man. I've had them for so long. I think I remember using them for, like, I think I got them with Sports Champions on the PS3. Am I planning on getting the PlayStation 5? Hell yeah, I'm getting the PlayStation 5, dude. Um, a few big reasons why I'm getting the PS5. My, my VR headset will be compatible with the PS5, so I'm already basically committed. <laughs> Smart move by PlayStation. They're like, hey, you already spent 500 bucks on a VR headset? Well, might as well get the PS5 then, idiot. Let's just back out real quick. So if you haven't seen this, you guys probably have. This is the first painting I did, and I learned a lot from this point in painting, actually. So this is kind of the end game with our dog. And the dog has even more detail than the cat, actually. Let's play this for a little bit. Uh, I gotta use the little boys room, I'll be right back. Sometimes you find you what you need. Sharks are swimming. 
All right, sorry about that. Uh, here's an original song that I wrote, by the way. Hope there ain't much left because I'm running out of. All right, so let's get back to business. Um, what did I miss? And by the way, are you guys getting the PlayStation 5? JC? Jackal, I have a question by animation. Why is it when I animate or try anyway, when I set a keyframe and with the keep changes option enabled, the puppet goes back to the default pose? You know, I've had that problem, and what I do is just have... <laughs> I have the keyframe just go, like, infinite if I have to. Instead of having the keyframe end, I'll just... I don't know if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but... But I've wondered that too, honestly, because uh, I've had that same problem where it says uh, keep changes and that you assume that it'll go to the end of it and it'll just stay there, but instead it goes back to the beginning. So I can't say I have a, a good answer for you besides just keep stretching out that keyframe all the way if you have to, if that's your only option, which is not, <laughs> I know it's not ideal. So we got to change all of our settings back here. Get our uh, surface snap back on. And go to tools and spray paint. And there we go, back in business. All right, so next we're on our last step for the tracing, the red outline part. Matt, you just bought the PS4? Sure. Someday you'll get the PS5, I hope. I'll probably get it at launch. Cause I'm a sucker, just like I bought the PS4 at launch, day one, because <laughs> I'm a sucker. All right, so here we go. Next step, let's work on the head again, and we're going to add some detail to the ears next. And I'm just going to kind of just add a little bit of detail to give them a little ear flap. Kind of about here-ish. Yeah. Uh, maybe there. And all the way up. So we're just going to kind of drag down right here. Now we can do that better. Ah, we can still do better. Let's recenter our imp. Nice and easy, Trav. Just take it slow. Oh, that was a janky. Let's try to go up. The madness of being an artist and having to try to make things perfect even though they don't have to be perfect. Like you're seeing right now. But I think that's what makes me a good artist. Is I, I'm okay with the monotony of certain things, because that's... Jesus. <sighs> Sorry, I know that's kind of hard to watch, just going back and forth like that, but there we go, we got it. We're going to do that same thing over here. Right about here. Just a little bit of a curve. There we go. 
See, every little stroke we do, it just looks a little bit more. Yep. Um, Jackal says do. Um, Jackal says maybe do quick separate strokes in succession. And yes, I agree. And I will be doing that. Once we do the the other part, I'll be doing that more for sure. It's a good point. Good. Thanks for bringing that up. And Matt asks, "What's my war zone? What's my record of kills in war zone?" Uh, it's probably, I think the, the the video I uploaded yesterday where I had those nine kills in the last five minutes. I think that might have been my high is nine, but I'm not sure honestly. I only have like five wins, so I only play with my buddies. I never play by myself or anything. How about you, Matt? Mm, my boy. Okay, so we got the ear flaps. Let's do. Let's work on his eyes next. Eyes are always like the most important thing. So let's make sure we get this right. So something like. Maybe. Is that going to be good? It's not bad. A little more like this. Oh, I like that first one. Dang it. I'm just trying to look at this picture here. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. It's a little too fat. I gotta go a little more narrow. Yeah, maybe good enough for now. Alright, so this one goes from there to there. Is that too big? A little too big. There we go. Um, what do we think? Still. What's up, Terrida? Welcome back. How was your text? Or are you, are you doing more than texting? <gasps> oh no. Just kidding. All right, we got his eyes. Now we're gonna get kind of his neck, I guess you'd say, or like his neck muscles. I'm gonna make a little mark kind of like down here ish. It's gonna kinda go right about there. So it's gonna kinda stroke down here and come back there. I've been saying stroke a lot this stream. That's that's not good. Just kidding. Alright, here we go. Oops. Boom! That was a good one. How'd that line up? Yeah, pretty good. That line up with that. A little more like that. There we go. Turtle, you getting to get the PS5? Oh, okay. He'll remove it eventually. Yeah. I just don't want somebody to stream, like, let's say a big streamer were to play it and get hurt, get in trouble, and it's like, you know, that would suck. The PR, be a PR disaster. <laughs> we'll have to fix this right shoulder here, but we'll do that next. We'll do that once we're done here, which we're almost actually, we're pretty close to being done with the outline and on to the fun stuff. Wait, can my dream get removed if it's a cover of a song from Dark Souls? Probably not. If you like make your own, 
Well, yeah, yeah. Well, if you just take a song from Dark Souls 2 and kind of try to make it your own, I doubt anything would happen. People are getting trouble for like making Mario 64 recreations and making Mario and <clears throat> it's so well done that it's like, okay, we can't let you do this because it's exactly like Mario. And also, a lot of it just depends on the developer, you know. The, the developer essentially has to, like, file a copyright grievance against it, so I forget who makes Dark Souls, but they seem kind of like they're pretty cool devs, and I don't think they'd care. Okay, anyway, um, so we get to do the pause next. We're going to make four pause, and also before that we're going to make kind of his, his femur parts of his legs, and we get to do a little bit of the tail as well. But let's do this back leg first. So it's going to kind of go from about here down there. Let's just try it one quick. But yeah, it's possible. I'm not really sure how how all it's going to play out with everybody copying everything. So I say just instead of making Crash Bandicoot, make Dash Randicoot or some Smash Flandicoot. Or make up your own character. Your alter Ego or something. That's why I think Turtle made played it smart. Oh, from Soft. There you go. Um, but I think Turtle was the smart one here. He's <laughs> he's remaking Little Big Planet, which is the people that made Dreams and. I'd assume they would have told you by now, because they had to have come across a welcoming back by now. If not that they're blind. But Nintendo, obviously, I knew that was coming. Like, when I watched some of that, uh, like the Nintendo one, the Mario one that got banned, or whatever, removed... They did too good of a job, almost. Like if it would, if it would have sucked, then I don't think they would have cared. But Nintendo's always kind of kind of been a little stingy like that. Okay, this leg might be a little janky. Let's see here. Go there, you go there. Oh, that's why. Okay. No, we're all good. we're gonna be okay, I think. We just gotta get the right angle here. Something like that. Oh, we can go a little more. Something like that. We're gonna have to trim this up a bit over here. We'll get it. That's why this step is the. You think art is fine for The Last of Us and The Witcher? A Sonic game, but instead of Sonic, it's fanfic OC character. Boom, it's the safe. Right, exactly. Like, Yeah, the Fallout one is amazing. But, I know, it's. It's tough to say. It's, it's just like on YouTube where. If the developers are cool and they allow you to do it, then you're fine. So it's kind of, it's like, what are you looking to, who are you trying to piss off or not? All right, um, so we're going to get this thing here pretty much straight. Dip down a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah, I need to fix this before it drives me nuts. So we're gonna this kind of protrudes a little too much. I think we're gonna tr uh, just trim this up a tad, which we could do later, but I want to do it now. A 
believe that last one. It's alright. Don't worry about it now, Trev. Just move on. Okay, uh, I think next we can make the pot. Or no, let's do the tail next. And this will just kind of be a fake, just a few little brush strokes, just to kind of give us an idea of the tail. A little bit there. A little bit there. Now let's do this one next. Don't love it. Don't love that. Like that. This one should be kind of straight. Again, I apologize for the monotonous. But if you ever actually watch an artist, it's not always pretty. When they're drawing and shit. Let's even get one more in here just for my peace of mind. There we go. See, now it's looking kind of like a dog. Or at least the skeleton drawing outline of a dog. But again, it'll look way different once we trace over this, because I'm just kind of getting the skeleton. Um, so, uh, Jackal says, wait, I'm pretty sure if it's Sony-based games, it'll be playing Uncharted, etc. I guess they're cool about it since it makes people want to buy dreams. True. That's a really good point. I didn't think about how Uncharted is a Sony exclusive. Same with, like, Horizon or even Death Stranding. There's been a shit ton of Death Stranding stuff, and nobody's been complaining. I was surprised for that the first week of the game there wasn't much obscene art. That speaks highly of the game. <laughs> yeah, there was a little bit. I wouldn't even say obscene. Because to me, you know, it's it, everything... Art is objective, or subjective, you know. I might see a naked body and think of it as art. Another person might see a naked body and think of it as offensive. You know, so it's like, what offends you? It's like, where do you live? If you're in Europe, they don't even give a... They don't care if you're... They paint a boob or something like who cares? But, like, you know, you paint a boob. It's like so. It's tricky, you know. It's tricky. Kind of like music. Think about music twenty years ago. Ah, uh, turtle. You have some collabs. I have a little bit. Welcome back to this course where we discuss story and concept. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't too worried about spoilers. I'd love to. I'd love to check that out. Put, uh, if you have the link, feel free to pop it in there. I'll, I'll bookmark it. I don't even know if you can put links in here. Or have to make you a moderator or something. I'm not sure how it goes. All right, anyway, let's make some paws. So a dog walks into a bar and shit, or no. So a dog limps into a bar and says, which one of you shot my paw? Get it? It's a joke. Anyway, uh, all right, we're gonna draw some paws. This is gonna go from about, yeah, to about there. Anybody get that joke? There we go. Just cap off the bottom of the paw. And then we'll do the same thing here. Same height, yeah. Pretty much, yep. 
that ends right about there. Same thing. Let's recenter. But the more accurate I am with this drawing, it'll be easier when we actually do our final, final, final drawing. There we go. We got the front two paws. <clears throat> Won't let me send the link. Um. Am I able to easily make you a moderator somehow? I think it's kind of a pain. Oh yeah, here we go. Try it now uh, there, turtle. I don't think I've ever even made anybody a moderator. I never, never really fuck around with that. Um, so here we go. Uh, two more paws. Do that there. This one kind of goes a little bit more right about there. See, the more I do this, the better I get. I just got to keep, keep practicing. Final paw. Right about here, and then right about there. Jake Benzel. Oh, dude, do you want to huff some spray paint? Let's go. <laughs> Jake Turtle, if you want to, uh, you can send it to me in PSN messages, and I'll put it in myself. Jake, where should we where should we be right now? If it wasn't for the goddamn coronavirus, how fucked up would we be on? <laughs> yep, he wears cat. He wears the shit out of those khakis. No, Jake's my buddy, and we should be. Uh... It's funny you say Bob Ross because that's what I'd always wear to the convention. Wait, I just screwed that up. No, I shouldn't even be streaming right now. We were supposed to have a, 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 a... We were going to a gaming convention this weekend that we had planned. We've gone to the past three years. But it was canceled because of the COVID. That goddamn COVID. Ruining it for everybody. But instead I'm here just fiddling around. But guess what? We are past the boring part. I can just do a few little touch-ups. Um, so we're done with the outline. Let's do a save. So that was the boring part. That was the monotonous, frustrating, want to tear your hair out part. The next part is where we're going to actually trace over the red painting and we're going to, instead of do black paint, or instead of doing red paint, we're going to do black paint. I actually realized i got to fix one thing here. I shouldn't have backed out. Uh, white. See, we got like a big weird looking breast thing here. we got to fix this. Actually, let's kind of keep it a little bit. We're going to keep a little outline of that just to remind ourselves of what not to do. So I'm going to do that again, but make it just a little bit more sleek. Uh. MGC, man. Fucking MGC. Heartbreaker.
<sighs> so I'm a big, I'm actually a big Bob Ross fan. Um, and it's funny when we're talking about, um, here, I'll, I'll do that next year, Turtle. Um, I, the, my biggest copyright strike that I got from YouTube was when I was streaming a Bob Ross tutorial and painting in Dreams. It was actually kind of a similar thing to what I'm doing here. But you can tell right now we've done the red painting and now we're going to do the black, kind of just like I did here. So let me just, uh, I'm going to post that link. So yeah, um, you can kind of see where we're going. You can see how ugly our dog painting was, but it's going to turn into something cool like that. And let's see, click on this. Turtle, that didn't work. Can you, or you must not have sent the link yet. Dreamception, Inception. Let me know when you send the actual link. So shit's about to get crazy. I inspire you to try drawing, but I'll get frustrated. But it's okay. You have to get through the frustrating stuff. Like it's 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 part of it. It's like if you you know if you try to play guitar and you try to learn guitar, it's really frustrating. But eventually you learn how to do it, and it's like the most rewarding thing. And it's it's all the more rewarding if you've struggled to to make it work. So here we go, team. Let's see. We saved it. Big next step. Um, that was the point where I turned my grid on, and we're gonna drag one of these guys right on top of our dog. Cat dog. And I know I covered this earlier, but the reason we chose red is because when we start scoping in to paint the outline, uh, the colors are kind of an indicator of whether you're doing it properly. Because we have two layered sculpts, and I want to make sure I, I grab the proper one. So I'm going to scope in. And because it's red still, it's the wrong one. I'm still scoped in on our, oh, our underlying... Oh, I just had it. Pretty much I'm going to keep scoping it until I get, until the red turns black. There we go. So now I know that I'm on my new drawing because he turned black instead of red. Doesn't make much sense, but... But yeah, uh, Jackal, certainly true. Reference pictures to key and start with simple shapes. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. I, I don't paint. I, I can't really do much without an actual picture in front of me. Some people can, some people can't, so it really depends on who you are. You you might be able to do it without it. All right, we're going to black paint, and we're going to sphere. Wait, tools, spray paint. It's already on sphere now, and then also I'm going to go to guides and turn on our surface snap. Oh, this might be kind of tricky with... This didn't happen to me last time. Why is it doing it now? Hmm. I don't like that. No, actually, we'll be okay. We'll just have to roll with it. Yep, well, allow me to send a damn link. What the F? You can't send a link in uh, the PS Messenger? Is it? Are you trying it from your phone, maybe? Is that why? Well, whatever. <laughs> I guess we'll have to figure out another time. Um, yeah, you're on the phone app. Hmm, okay, so next, I'm going to start tracing over this, and I'm just trying to kind of mentally prepare myself for this because 
this is the important stuff now where instead of looking like crap it actually has to look good so we gotta kinda start uh, why I don't remember it being so janky like this. What did I do differently? Is that a detail all the way up? No, it's not. Hmm. I must not have turned the detail all the way up. Jesus. Hopefully that fixed it. Mm. Sorry, it's kind of hard to get the right layer. Christ. There we go. Damn it. What did I do differently this time? Yeah. You know, Project Genesis Lelex. Lelex, I used to watch her Project Spark stuff. Oh, I don't know if she was on Project Spark. You don't want to talk about it? Yeah, I don't blame you, bro. God dang it. Let me look at a few things here. So we got 100, 100, 0, 100. I need to, I'm going to check out my cat painting real quick and see if there's something I did differently. Hunter Hunter zero sixty, maybe that would, I gotta turn that down. Sure, it's something simple. Hundred hundred zero sixty. Do we have waxy or metal? Just roll, roll with it. Unfortunately, if I change one of these flex to something else, that might help. All right, back to business. So, spray paint. Kind of get sick of doing this every time, but. Black, change it to circle, excuse me, sphere. All right, letter Matt. Yeah, project definitely is always showcasing stuff, which is nice of him. All right, well, I'll have to figure out what I did wrong. But I'm not. I, I'm not gonna fuck with it anymore right now. I'm just gonna start going. So we are on to the final, the final part. Which I mean, we're only halfway done. Really, we got it. Sorry, I get this painting. I got my drawing right in front of me here. Yep. See, you, Maddie. And let's just start kind of going at it. Could do this a different color, maybe. Let's say I were to do it, maybe like a dark purple. Would that help? Uh, no. Yep. Go give Turtle a follow. In dreams. 
Hopefully you're going to create some dreams. Let's make sure that looks okay. I wonder if it's because when I my last painting for the cat it was a lot bigger it took up the whole screen you know that must be it so I don't think there's much we can do I'll have to I'll have to troubleshoot that next time but for now whatever we just gotta deal with it I wish this painting was bigger that I had in front of me it's kind of hard to see Nighty night pal. Hush, little matty. Don't say a word. <laughs> All right. It's a little uh, stressful to start. I'm not even sure what to start with. Let's get start. And then this will kind of be down here. We'll kind of do it over here. What really sucks is I can't even really see what I'm painting right, painting right now. Because it's so... <laughs> There's so much going on right here. But we'll just keep going. You gotta kinda, you gotta kinda believe in the, in the process. Good thing I don't have my camera on right now. I look like a total idiot. Oh, Jackal asks, Hey, you know Ludwig the Accursed Holy Blade does not ring a bell. Oh, wait. Is that from Blood Bloodborne? <laughs> oh, I think I did this painting too small. I think next time I'll enlarge everything. Ooh, what if we did that? All right, let's uh, let's do a quick save. I'm gonna enlarge everything. <clears throat> is that what you're talking about, though? Uh, is it is it Bloodborne? We're gonna just enlarge everything. Yep, is he the dude? Let's see, Ludwig the Accursed Holy Blade. Is he the dude with? Uh, he turns into a a werewolf or something. Ooh, did that fix it, maybe? Let's find out. I feel like it looks a little better. What the hell? No, it did not fix it. Made it worse, or did it? Sure, I'm doing something wrong here, but whatever, it's too late now. Whatever, all we gotta do is get the general outline and then we can get rid of this. 
He became a horse-like beast. Yuck. But his theme is badass, but so complex. We want to work on the second phase theme for it as cover. Okay. Are you doing it all in dreams? All right, let's keep going. I was wrong. This is the even more frustrating part. <laughs> now that it's not working as I was hoping, but it's all right. We'll get through it. I'm gonna go down here and kind of do something like. Now is we're gonna start doing our little extra strokes. Different strokes. There we go. I just gotta be vigilant here. As long as I kinda follow this outline, we should be good. You must be, have you beat, did you beat uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls? Or which ones? I'm curious. I didn't get, I got barely anywhere in Demon Souls, but that was before I even knew what the hell it was. It was, a, it was like an old free PS Plus game. Let's get these eyes going, eh? Let's go from the snout up. Mm. Kind of hard to tell. do this first. One thing at a time. We're going to do the snout. Drag that up. How far is that going? Ooh, just to the eye. Right about there, actually. And then bring that down. that right now it's pretty good and then we're gonna connect it just like this I hope my paint isn't too thick for what we're doing I'm gonna do this other eye and then we're gonna check our progress here um, let's do this part first It's all connected. It's all connected, baby. Um, and then we're gonna do the eyelash part, kind of something like this. Do we got anything extra? We got a little. We have a little thingy here. We also got a little thing under his eye, like so. I can already tell this paint seems a little too too thick for what I'm going for, but we will we'll, eventually we'll thin a lot of this out. Now let's just scope it out. Yeah, it's kind of blurry. But I think we're kind of committed already. And we'll change the flex from square to something else eventually. We'll keep them square for now, though. I 
All right, let's keep rolling. Patrolling. All right, what else we got there, Pooch? We can kind of get his uh, little, little something like this. Right? Something like that. All right, let's just keep working from top to bottom here. Let's get his nose going. The nose is going to be a little trickier, I think. It's because I can't see shit right now. That's a little more detailed, but... Well, here's the problem, Turtle. Dreams fucked us, man. We can't record anymore. But yeah, I agree. I, like That cover was real quick. I just did it. I pretty much did it once, and I, I moved on. But yeah, they... I don't know if you noticed, but you can't record more than 15 seconds now. So I wish I could, but I can't. Until they uh, change it. Unless you know of a workaround, but I doubt. I don't think there's any way around it. It, uh, I'm pretty sour about it. Even though I kind of feel partially responsible because um, my tutorial that explains how to import audio, it's like the most one of like maybe not the most successful, but if you look up how to import audio into Dreams. Mine's like the biggest one, and fortunately, people people imported a bunch of copyrighted shit, and but yeah, that puts a huge damper because I mean, so much stuff that I do in Dreams is revolved around importing my own audio. But yeah, I and I appreciate you asking me, like I. And it definitely isn't my best cover. I'd actually, you know, I think I told you, I'd never even played that song before that night. Played it a few times, and then I just recorded it, and I think I went to bed. <laughs> Not that it was bad or anything, but... Oh, God. See, it doesn't look terrible, but... It if I could see what the fuck I was doing over here. I don't know what else to change. How could I bring that down? Let's just keep going. Floor guide. Sorry, we'll be able to touch a lot of this stuff up. Is it a wolf? What's up, JJ? Oh, 
Of all people, why you know? What did I do? Oh, this is not a furry. <laughs> funny guy, funny guy. I'm not into furries, all right? Nothing against furries, but... I'm not one of those furry people that puts on a furry costume and bangs a bot doll I bought on the internet. But is this a wolf? Um, no, it's more of like a German Shepherd, I'd say. Ugh. How much of this can we undo? He's a little fat. We gotta trim him up a little bit. JJ always breaking my balls. Sure, yeah, hey, you know what? You know what, fine, it is a furry. And tonight, you know what, I'm going to take this picture of this furry and you know, you don't even want to know what I'm going to do. All right? Does that make you happy? <laughs> it's, a free, it's a free world. All right, let's get this down there a little bit. A little bit of that. I don't want to rush, but I'm starting to get frustrated, so I just gotta. <sighs> Your uncle's a hairy uncle. <laughs> I think everybody has a hairy uncle. I just have weird dreams of my hairy uncle. It, he always makes me this Kool Aid, and it it tastes kind of funny, and I always I would always fall asleep, and then. I don't want to talk about it. Let's just say things get a little hairy after that. Pun intended. Oh. Lost track. What the hell are you doing, JJ? Happy Saturday. What are you up to tonight? Weirdo. Awkward! <laughs> <laughs> Resurfacing old memories, huh? We've all got that hairy uncle, you know, like I said. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, let's get this. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, Turtle, if they didn't delete the whole recording function, I would... I can do it right now if I could. A few people gotta ruin it for everybody, though. That's the story of life. Let's just drive this. We're gonna follow this all the way down. Well, we're gonna make a nice curve on the leg. All the way out to this little weird bone. Let's stop there because I'm getting too far over there. Just gotta kinda work our way down there. We're gonna give him a little bit of a, a shoulder blade over here. Something like that. Yeah, you know, you do what you want. I, hopefully, I've heard that they'll bring it back. So yeah, JJ you used to be able to record three minutes, which I which I thought was not enough still, and now they brought it down to fifteen seconds. So if I wanted to record a song, I'd have to somehow do it in fifteen second increments, which is impossible. And I mean, understand a little bit, but still. You gotta take into consideration people like me, and I've got some other musician friends that... A big part of dreams for them is using their own original music that we can record if we learn. You know, I've I spent 15 years learning how to play guitar, and I'd love to be able to take all the songs that I wrote and record them, but... 
can't now. But yeah, a turtle, don't feel obligated to use it. You know, if it doesn't fit, don't, you know, don't use it. Hopefully, eventually, we can do something better. But yeah, it sucks, because everything I was planning on doing for you, for your welcoming back, it was all covering all the old Little Big Planet songs, and now I'm pretty much worthless. But something like this I could do for you if you want me to do a cool painting or something. Even if it's just like, uh, let's see, I should almost save some of this. Yeah, we're good. Keep going, all right. Let's um, keep doing the top. Yeah, let's go from left to right now. Let's start working on these pows. Worked up though. I'm a little pissed off. I love you, little. Or I love you, medium molecule. Don't get me wrong. But God dang it! I hope they figure out something. Something. All right. Let's bring this puppy down now. You up over here, right down there. You pretty sure Emma will come up with? A, are they working on fixing the solution? Yeah, they are. It's not like they wanted. To, they, you know, it's not like they wanted to go this route because it really, back in the day when they first came out with uh, the early creator beta. You could straight up import like audio files, no problem. Like you could straight up like upload it, upload an MP3. Eventually they got rid of that, so you had to do some different workarounds where you would kind of record it through your headset almost. But now you can't even do that. It breaks my heart. Just kidding. Uh, is what it is. It's been a rough time for everybody these days, you know what I mean? I think little uh, dreams recording functions are the least of my worries. Try not to get infected by this goddamn global pandemic. But, I mean, keep in mind, JJ, you could still do plenty of audio stuff. It's just, you kind of just kind of, you have to kind of make your own stuff in dreams with the tools that dreams gives you, which, very robust. If I were to use that word, which I never use, but there's still plenty you can do, and you can still, like I said, you can still record 15 second increments. So, but if you use like an in-game, an in-game instrument, you can record for all the time you want. It's just if I'm recording me playing guitar, kind of thing, is where you're limited. What I'm saying. All right, let's get this little paw. Let's see how far we want this. I'm like, it's kind of hard right now what I'm doing here because I'm just kind of going blind on everything, hoping that it looks okay. We'll check this out shortly here, maybe once I get this leg done. See how it's looking. And I say it's alright. <laughs> Luckily the workaround I have is if I if I want to make a music video, I'll just I'll just make the music video in dreams and I'll add the audio in my own little 
program. You know, I'll just export the video and then I'll add the audio in my in my video editing software. Because I have, you know, I've got a computer with I use Sony Vegas Pro. Which is a nice, cheap, simple program if you guys are looking for a, if you're looking for a video editing program on for a budget. You don't want to spend a million dollars on some other shit. Adobe or something. I hear you, bro. How's he looking? Like if we were just cut off right there. Eh, you know what? It's oh, this pause is terrible. What the hell did I do? I will fix that later. Let's just because eventually, once I kind of get the outline traced, I can get rid of this stupid thing and I can just work solely on this and I can see what I'm doing instead of I'm pretty much just guessing right now, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But whatever, we're almost there. Just keep. Stay with the plan, Trev. You got this, baby. Right, we're going to ride this all the way. We're going to ride this a little bit. Maybe I should be using RX instead of... There and something like that, right? Literally defeats the purpose of major dreams. Well, I don't know. It depends on who you ask. A lot of people are like, eh, you know, dreams has everything you need. Why, why even need to import audio? So, but I know it's it's frustrating. Quit getting me worked up. All right, <laughs> just kidding. We're all we're all in this together. Like they keep saying about the goddamn coronavirus. I keep bringing it up. I'm so sick of people talking about it, honestly. Social distance. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, I can tell I need to slow down a little. I got Here Comes the Sun stuck in my head. Great song. I knew I'd have the hardest time with the damn paws and the legs, because I always do any time anytime I do a painting. So I tend to do portraits. Don't tell anyone. Be doing this more often, right? Kind of move the camera like that. Uh, almost. There we go. And get this leg up. right about the smaller strokes I think so close 
Ugh, God, that leg looks like shit. God. Sorry, right, we'll fix it. We'll fix it eventually. Let's do a quick save. Let's just focus on this for a second. I'm going to use little boy's room. Be right back. Apologies once again. Um, I have moved controllers, yes, but I'm not using them. I haven't learned how to use them in Dreams. I've got the PSVR. And I know everything I'm doing here would probably be a million times easier. It's kind of making me realize I just got to... I just got to hunker down and just learn how to use them. It'll be tricky because I'm so used to the dual shock. Everything is just kind of <clears throat> second nature now. I don't even have to think about what I'm doing, you know. But yeah, Turtle, I, I think I asked you. I don't think you answered. Do you, you use moves, right? I think I, when you when you stream, you're using the moves. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Did you have you used a dual shock much? Or did you just learn with the the moves and you're just moving ever since? stupid too because you're more comfortable with the moves yeah exactly and it's stupid because I'm an artist I paint I have a you know I paint all the time so I it would feel much more natural and I just like I said I'm just stubborn really I'm waiting for a stupid mini molecule to give me the VR give me dreams in VR and I'll switch immediately that'll be the first thing I do That's going to be crazy once I can put on a headset and do this kind of thing. Oh, boy. The cops are going to find my dead corpse just holding move controllers with the headset on. Uh, he died from malnutrition and dehydration. It appears he was playing this game called Dreams for 12 days straight. Didn't eat. Didn't sleep. He just played dreams. But god damn his dreams were cool. <laughs> That's what I hope they'll say. They won't though. Let's 
Look at this tail we're making, baby. We're making progress. We're actually getting pretty close. We might actually leave some of the tail. I don't really need to do much here. Yeah, actually, we can leave that for now. God, the feet look horrible. <laughs> We'll have to make all the paws a little bit bigger. I kind of did better on these back ones. Dreams VR, PS5, I'm on a bust. Ditto. And online. Dude, pfft. that's the other thing. Like, just give us... Come on. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be patient. It's such a, such a masterpiece. I think I'm about ready to... Almost. We're almost ready to get rid of the stupid background drawing and I won't be bitching at all. Because <clears throat> I'll be able to actually see what I'm doing. Right now I'm kind of just guessing. I don't even need it for that, do I? No. I don't think I do. Just do a couple dots here and there. Do dot there. No dot there. Getting ready to Alright, it's time. So, oh, later, turtle. Keep with a good amazing work with painting the music. Thanks, buddy. Love you, buddy. Game on. What about navigating the hub in VR? What do you What do you mean? I'm sure, they'll make a like a different. It'll all be. You know, you'll turn. You put your headset on, and it'll kind of change to VR mode. If you've seen anybody play with the move controllers, I think it'll be a lot like that, where you you kind of have a... I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like you're holding a, a paint palette in your left hand, and then your right hand is your, your tool. All right, here we go. So now I can finally see what I'm doing and fix all these stupid things. Like right now, he, he looks okay. I mean, it's not horrible by any means, but to, in my standards, it's not what I'm going for. Well, it is, but hub. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. They're working on it. Vigilantly, apparently. The good old hub, dude. Let's do a quick save here. Hubby dubby dubby dub. Schlubba dubba dubba wub wub. JJ's a scrub scrub. Schlubby dubby JJ. JJ too sad. For whatever reason, I always thought your name was like JJ Assad. Are you just like a sad dude? You're just. You're too sad to even. Like do anything, you're just a sad dude. What does that name even mean? You need like talk to you need like need a little cheer up therapist? I could cheer you up. <laughs> I still don't get it. Damn it, what are you talking about? What about navigating the hub on VR? Winky face. I don't get it. Fuck are you talking about? CBD. It's legal. I 
Yep, you should definitely neck. <sighs> you always use these terms I don't understand. I think I'm just old. <clears throat> I'm old, man. I'm 94 years old. Just out of touch with these kids. God, these pods look horrible. We'll get there. But first, let's just uh, kind of what we've been doing. We're going to start back up at the top and start kind of really getting into it now. Now we can, now we can have some fun. I've been saying that this whole time, but oops. What the hell? What is going on? Got the surface lock. Oh, I got the grid on. That's why. So now is a time where I might turn the turn the paint tool down, or maybe I'll start erasing some stuff. Let's do that first. Start getting rid get rid of the, some of this crappy stuff. <laughs> Your dad doesn't love you. You're. College is a liberal center and drugs are great. Well, I think you got to figure it out. If you ask me, let's um turn on a little, little soft blend and a little less opacity. Oh, JJ. I don't even know where to, where to go with this. All right, this chin, he looks like a, he's got a little weird butt chin. Let's just get rid of that. up a little bit and you'll notice now that we're getting into the little fine tuning stuff this is the stuff that really helps look great at first but just little tweaks here and there Maybe we'll start over here get real close Kill me, Smalls. Op yourself. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. It's not funny, but it's it's funny. I don't recommend it. I know all too well. We got his face. We got that. This should be over here, and it's gonna go. Sometimes you look at something for so long, and no matter what you do, it you can't fix it. Oh, everybody's gone. All right, cool.
There we go. Cruising. Let's fix his paws because they look like oh, crap. <laughs> we just look at him like this. Not bad. Paws, terrible. Too small. Are we going to have to make him in grass or something? Yeah. Yeah. If I can't fix this buzz... Because <clears throat> I made his legs too small. We'll just have him in some tall grass. Because <laughs> that's the easy way out.
let's soften up some stuff while we're at it. Tiger King. Snip, snip here, snip, snip there. Anything that kind of has an ending, we're kind of cutting up. And also just kind of here and there. If you think about nature, there's never any straight lines, perfect circles. Oh, that's a weird little dark thing we can get rid of. Just terrible feet. I knew before I started this I was going to have trouble with the pause. And lo and behold, he looked terrible. Eh, that's a little better. Chop. This nose, this nose looks pretty bad too. All right, we're getting there. It's not great. Definitely not as good as the cat painting yet. It's also a lot blurrier. So blurry. Let's change the flex here and see if we can find a better flex. Yeah, let's do the splat. Makes the most sense aesthetically. Can't even say the word. Alright, let's go back to edit. Oh, we're in edit. Let's try to finish this tail off. Back to black. Bushy tail. 
kind of goes out to here. Not great. I don't love it, but it'll do. Eventually I'll make some grass here. This is janky. There we go. This leg is a little wide, I think. Let's go back to white. Just bring that in a little bit. Oh, that looks janky too. Maybe this was the problem. <sighs> Fuck, that sucks too. detail in the back leg here I think oh, this back leg sucks bad too <laughs> I'm sounding all negative but I blame it all on the inability to, to sketch it properly so I'm gonna have to troubleshoot that next time off stream and figure out what the heck I did wrong will help. Like that. We'll get a little streak down this leg. Another round down this leg. few dots here and there break up this black space
something over here. Baggy eye. It's starting to come together. <clears throat> as terrible as it looks. That's looking better. The feet are still trash, but I also don't like this. Not a little bit even. Get that on. Yeah, that'll be better. sucks down here. What's wrong with it? It is this back part, isn't it? I mean, it's both sides. They both sides. Let's make sure to do a quick save before I forget. Hmm, that tail could have gone out a little more. I'm just going to set up a camera. Blocking out the horrible legs. Oops. Let's edit the camera a little bit. Force that imp. <laughs> I knew this would be a little more difficult than the cat head because instead of just doing a head it's a whole body his eyes are very blank I'm going to have to do something with the eyes he's going to need some kind of hair and fur going on oh, I didn't finish his chest either Let me just take a step back here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a two-minute, three-minute break here, and I'll come back. Think about it.
Okay. So, took a second to think about it. Let's get back into it. So what are the big standing out problems? One is down here. Let's turn this. Back all the way up. So there isn't much here, but I just want a little. Little something there. Eventually, I'll add a bunch of hair effects, but I still want to keep trying to get a little bit better with this. Uh, just kind of the basic outlines and stuff. Hate his mouth. Hmm. Let's do a quick save and let's kind of almost redo that whole mouth. I do the quick save just in case this doesn't work out okay. We can just revert back <clears throat> to what we had originally. goes way over here. See, it's this might be the problem. Let's go straight up. Better or worse? Ugh. I think I've lost it. It's late. My brain isn't functioning. I'm tired. So I think we're just going to leave it with that. And I'll be able to regroup, reassess. I'll take a screenshot of this so I can kind of think about it. Um, and maybe I'll stream, maybe I won't. It's I probably shouldn't have even done this stream because it's it's kind of hard to watch, you know, um, watch something like this because it's just a lot of just monotonous, meticulous trial and error, little thing here and there. It's not very fun to watch, but 
Yeah, anyway. Um. Hey, I leveled up. Cool. Got a few messages, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, Dream Master followed. Thanks. Whoa, look at that. Give this guy a follow. Cool. Oh, see, this guy knows what's going on. I gotta... Let's remix this, see what they got going on. Oh, never mind. I was hoping it was a painting. Wow, they got good stuff here. Oh, anyway, uh, I should call her a night. A lot of frustrating things. I'm sorry if you watch the whole thing and you see how frustrating it gets, but that's... The limitations of dreams can kind of get to me, you know. I'm so much more comfortable with just a pen and a piece of paper, and that way there's nothing... No obstacles that I have to overcome, so... We'll end it with there, friends. Uh, this is Clever Trev. That's a little uh, painting stream. If you're trying to figure out what I was doing, go to the very beginning of the stream and I kind of explain how to trace. Uh, but I do have to kind of revisit and, and work out some kinks. Because we ran into some problems. So, With that being said, thanks for dreaming, friends. It's Trev. Take her easy. Peace.